Hello everyone, welcome to the show. Well, as you can see, uh, I have a guest here. Um, actually, she's been on the show once before. This is my niece, Melody Belanger. Now, the last time she was on the show, on the show was using Zoom. And that's because she lives in La Belle Provence, <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, Pierrefonds, to be exact. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who don't know Montreal, Pierrefonds is on uh, the West Island section of Montreal. She is here visiting her mother and her father and uh, her brothers and their families. Uh, they live, do they live in Langley? I, uh, yes. And of course she Langley. spent some time with mm -hmm. me. Yeah. yeah, you know. And uh, we tried to get away from the family today, but... <laughs> it didn't work. God, it was so difficult. They ended up like, you know... Still well, calling. <laughs> yeah, well at least we got to go shopping without supervision. Correct. Her mother's a shopaholic, but yeah. don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> no. So anyway, here's the deal. When Melody, when we go, when we go to Montreal, I usually go with uh, Melody's mother. Mm -hmm. That's my sister, little Marie, my big sister, you know, you've met her. And we always stay at Melody's. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my sister Kitty comes with us. So there'll be me, my two sisters. We go to Melody's. We always stay at her place, even though we have other family there. Guess who gets their own room? Her mother? No. <laughs> her Aunt Kitty? Mm. No. <laughs> me. Why do I get my own room? You're special. <laughs> Speak up so everybody can hear you say You're that. You're special. <laughs> That's what I wanted her to say. Mm -hmm. And not only that, now, if we're traveling out of town and we're staying at a hotel, we usually get, um, if there's four of us, we try to get um, uh, a room with double beds, mm -hmm. two double beds. There's only ever two double beds. There's never like four or whatever. And so we got to bunk up with another person. Mm -hmm. Who does Melody want to share a bed with? <laughs> My aunt. <laughs> like, it's just, you know, it's just the way it is, right? Correct. Uh, because I'm special. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> it's not to offend anybody else. They're probably crying now. Yeah, probably. Oh, my gosh. You I'm know? sorry. Yeah. They're sorry, Mom. Such a bunch of whiners, aren't they? Sorry. Yeah. Everybody's special, actually, in their own ways. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Yeah, believe that one, you know. I mean, she's just saying that to make people feel good, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, I'm sure everybody understands. Yes. But the the... the Point is, though, that for whatever reason, we get along really well together. Mm -hmm. But then you get along with pretty well everybody, don't I do. you? I try. <laughs> yeah, she really does, you know? Like, you're not a bad person. Mm -mm. I try, yeah. Are you ever bad? Yes. <laughs> Tell me what you do when you're bad. <laughs> I'm not. I just don't talk to people. Oh, well, that's hardly bad. I mean, <laughs> gee whiz. Mm. You know? Now, what do you, I know some of the things you like to do. Like, you love to go salsa dancing, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Um... Is that the only kind of dancing you like? Uh, yeah, really. There's only, yeah. Yeah? Have I've you ever tried other kind of dancing? I, I would really like to learn West Coast Swing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would really like to learn that. Right. Since it's a lot easier, I heard. But we'll see. With, right. with COVID, you know, once that's over. I would love to learn salsa dancing. The problem I have, because I love dancing, is with some issues with my, my disc deteriorating. Mm -hmm. Everything is more... De painful mm -hmm. to do and, and it's like oh god because I miss dancing mm -hmm. I really really enjoyed dancing oh I just want to say another thing too as you're probably wondering why I have another family member on because you've met a lot of them you might call this nepotism <laughs> well, you know what I call it nepotism <laughs> it's my show right right so you could do what you want yeah it's such a, a freedom to be able to interview whoever I want or when I want mm -hmm. uh, but I have to say though I'm very lucky because I have a lot of um family <laughs> <laughs> I'll never run out of people nope. to interview, even if it was just on my family. But I've interviewed a lot of people, and it's and it's really fun because I've made friends this way. Yes, and it's really so cool. So Melody's here on vacation. She um, actually has a job, uh, and and it's COVID related. Yes, it is. In With, the hospitals. In the hospital. So if you if you're living in Montreal mm -hmm. or anywhere in the province, or is it or is it just Montreal? Just the West Island. West Island. Okay. So people can call in if they they've had their test and call in and get their results right Correct. and you tell them yes you have it or no you don't have it and, Correct. and then do you tell them like if if they have it do people ever ask you like okay so now what am I supposed to do we give them yeah like 
certain things, criteria is what they have to do. Please stay home <laughs> yeah. if possible. And right. <laughs> don't go adventuring out for the next 14 days. Right. You know? yeah. um, follow the guidelines uh, if possible, like and have their groceries delivered, have a family member or so on. But um, not everybody follows those rules. Yeah, I wonder why why people can't follow, you know, it's just a, like a simple thing. Mm -hmm. Is it because they find that, well, I'm not asking you really to answer that question, but, you know, in general, is it they find that 14 days too long or you just happen to stay home too much of a hardship? Like, I don't quite understand mm -hmm. that. If you're sick, wouldn't you want to stay home? I think it's, they just find it hard. Yeah, I suppose so. Some people... You were saying that you know somebody personally who's having a hard time because of, mm -hmm. just because of being uh, COVID and not being able to do whatever it is they would normally do, right? Yeah, isolation is hard for some people. Yeah, doesn't right. doesn't bother me. Well, I don't feel isolated. No. That's the thing is I do get to see people. I make sure, like if I'm still wearing a mask, when I go out mm -hmm. into a store where there's people, I mm -hmm. wear my mask. I've been vaccinated. I know some people don't want to get vaccinated or can't because of health issues, mm -hmm. whatever it is. I don't judge. No, nope. neither do I. You wear your mask, you don't wear your mask. That's mm -hmm. totally up to you, mm -hmm. you know. Don't give me a hard time about what I've chosen. I won't give you a hard time about mm -hmm. what I what you choose. And it's just respecting other people's because mm -hmm. we don't always know why they haven't done a certain thing, right? Exactly. You know. So um, where's our next adventure going to be? Because <laughs> that's another thing. When we travel... Mm -hmm. Just say, when we travel, it's always an adventure, <laughs> you know. Yes. I think, didn't we take off one time, like when we were in North Carolina, like when, didn't we go night shopping or something? Yeah, we went to Walmart because it was open 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hours, Walmart? Like, yeah, I don't know if, well, how, when ours closes or if it closes. I don't even know, but no reason to. And anyway, so your mom and Aunt Kitty, they didn't even know about it. No, we left. Because they were sleeping and we just sort of <laughs> went out quietly. We needed something. I think we needed pajamas. I needed pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I had pajamas. I, I, I traveled with. Why didn't you have your pajamas? I forgot, maybe. I don't know. I was flying on my own, so I was excited. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. All right. But we do have a good time when we travel. I think mm -hmm. the next traveling for us will probably be next year. Mm -hmm. We plan to go to New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. Via Montreal. Yeah. So there's uh, no direct flight. So what we would have to do is either fly into Toronto or fly into Montreal. Then if we we're going to take another flight, it would have to be uh, to, um, where would we go into New Brunswick? Uh, Camelton? Yeah, but there's no flight to Camelton. Oh. I'm just trying to think to close it. Like, I don't know if there's an airport in Shiloh, which would be really close. Uh, uh, but I've I just gone blank for the moment where the, the closest airport would be. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's, it's driving, which is like 10 hours. With my family, they all have to stop to pee. Mm -hmm. It's probably like 14 hours. <laughs> Didn't we do it last time? And it took us, uh, Uncle Dave drove us, and it took us eight, isn't it eight or 10? I think it was 10. Okay. 10. I mean, that's that, yeah. I think 10 is about the, 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 the uh, slowest mm -hmm. you could go, right? Now, you know you could take a train from Montreal to Camelton? Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, but I think it's like 400 or 300. Okay, maybe we'll wait. Because <laughs> what the beauty of if, if we're driving, we always either have a van or something mm -hmm. so that a bunch of us can go in the same vehicle and it makes it nice. And then when we get to Camelton, because that's where we're going, we will go and see my oldest brother, Bunny. I think he, is he going to be 90 next year? 91, no? No. Because he was 90 this year, no? I think he's 89. Okay. This year. I don't know. I don't know. He's older. And he's one of my best, best, best brothers ever. Yes. Everybody, everybody loves my brother Bunny. Yes. And so... I we, have proof. Yeah. Yo, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. This is the whole thing. Because Melody threw herself a birthday party. <laughs> yeah, was it your 50th? 50th. And um, my brother and his wife and... No, was Aunt Terma there? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And some of his children that live in Montreal and whatever... So he was there, and everybody wanted to dance with my brother. It was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> everybody loves him. It's so neat. Anyway, so we will see them, but also in New Brunswick, in Camelton, we have other family members. And some of Bunny's, uh, his youngest daughter lives there with her husband. Mm -hmm. And then I have nieces and nephews there, and I don't think I have no more aunts or uncles that live there. I only have one aunt and uncle left. Of all of both sides of the family, I think there's only one left. Uh, which happens when, you know, we all get older, right? 
But we get to visit so many people and have a good time and eat mm. lobster. If you haven't had lobster from the from the East Coast, I'm telling you, mm. you haven't had lobster, okay? No. You don't, when you, I can get lobster here, but it's just not the same thing. Not the same size. There's just so much better. Then we have an Aunt Lucy. She lives in Quebec, but she's lived right across the, the bridge from Camelton. It's, um, she's on a reserve there, and I, I've forgotten the name of the reserve. Uh, she is, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sorry for I'm mispronouncing this, but I apologize. Uh, Micmac. I know, I know that's not the correct pronunciation, but that's what she is, mm -hmm. and she is... Oh yes, see, I just realized I have another aunt. Uh, she was married to my mother, to aunt, to Nanny, my mother's brother, mm -hmm. who died years ago. One of my favorite favorite aunts because she says she always remembers me. Is that Nancy? Mm -hmm. And I get all excited, like only because you know some people in the family are more um, what, what noticeable. What's the word I want? Um, like your mom, for instance. Right. Okay. People remember your mom because yeah. she's got a big personality. Yes. That's the word. A big personality. So I always expect people to remember her or any of the older ones. Mm -hmm. But when somebody remembers me, mm -hmm. it makes me feel Aww. very, very special. You are special. Thank you. <laughs> now, it could be because she had a sister, Nancy. That could oh, be why. Maybe. Yeah. I chose not to, choose not to believe that. Okay, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll delete that part. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, keep it in. <laughs> so this is just going to be, I'm doing all the talking. That's nowadays. okay. That's all right. No, you have to say stuff. <laughs> no, I'm listening. I know. It's always like this. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, it's different when I'm interviewing. Oh, okay. Because when I'm interviewing, I'm expecting the other person to talk. Talk back. I That's ask the a way question. That's the way it is. Yeah. So, okay. I will ask you questions now. Okay. Okay. So when you get back to work, yes. when you get back to Montreal, mm -hmm. what are you getting into? Anything? No. Yeah. <laughs> No, just, elaborate. Just, <laughs> just back to life, uh, back to work, relaxation, <laughs> back to my silence. Back to her silence because she's single right now. It's just back to silence. It's like so much noise here compared to me. There's so many family people that oh. keep on talking. Oh. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Well, obviously, I am not either because I, I don't see them a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, lately, you know, if you're visiting, obviously, we're going to mm -hmm. see you more. And, and your mom and Aunt Kitty and I have been trying to get together like once a month or something. <laughs> once a month. Well, yeah. Like, for me, that's enough. But I do my show. Yes. And, uh, you know, I have my friends. Yes. Uh, not, not that I see them a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't like to see people too, too often. often. <laughs> but that's it. I, I go dancing twice a week, and that's enough. I oh, get yeah. my music, and that's it. You know, I work. Five times a week, and I do my relaxation. And yeah. Now, when you when you go dancing, there's obviously people there that yes. that are your friends that yes. have been dancing together for mm -hmm. a while, right? Exactly. So you have uh, men there that that you you just automatically partner, yeah. partner up with. Yeah. Do you have your favorites? Yes, I do. Well, it's saying their names, I'm sure. Uh, I have my favorites. My favorite Latino people. <laughs> All right. Because they they dance streetwise and not just schoolwise. Okay. So can you explain the difference? Yes. Streetwise, you dance um, not in a, in a single line. Um, streetwise, you dance all kinds of ways. And school is your more routine-wise and what they teach you as a school pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. So I prefer to dance the street way. It's more routine-y. Okay. You know, okay. Say. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. When did you first start uh, dancing uh, salsa? 2006. Oh, that's quite a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wrong type of music, eh? Yeah. She's the one who told me, you know, that was that song you told me that is uh, the cockroach song about a cockroach. La cucaracha. La, cu <laughs> La cucaracha. <laughs> I didn't know it was about a co cockroach. It is. That's a cucaracha. Like it's a Mexican cucaracha. song. I think. Yeah, I know. I knew that <laughs> part, but I didn't know. Like, why would I know it was about a cockroach? Yeah. <laughs> why would anybody be writing a co Well, why not? Why not? Oh, you know what? I forgot. We were going to talk French. Oh, yes, we were. You know, I need to practice. Ça fait, ça fait longtemps que j'ai... Uh, uh, <laughs> ça fait longtemps. Ça fait longtemps. You're not supposed to make me laugh. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to make laugh. I can't tell you why. Uh, de, 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 depuis, j'ai déménagé de Montréal. Mm. 1975. Wow. Mm. Très longtemps. 
Say a long time. So, uh, yes, I moved away from Montreal in 1975, moved to Ontario. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to practice my French because um, I realize that I understand a lot, but my accent is so bad and it's embarrassing. But I don't understand why people love people who speak French. I think it's not just French, though. I think, like, when I hear somebody speaking Scottish or mm. when I hear... Different uh, accents. Different accents. It's, Period. It's, yeah, it's intriguing, you know. Yeah. It's like, but it's new to you or different to your mm -hmm. ears than what you normally hear. Mm -hmm. So you hear somebody, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, that sounds so nice. So sexy. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, that's usually a man too. A woman or a woman mm -hmm. too. Well, depends on your relationship type yeah. of preference, you know. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to bring up is just about what I like about our family. Now, we, no matter what, how bad our situations get, yes. we always find things to laugh about. Yes. Always. And some of, some of my family members have gone through some really, really rough times. Hardship times. Yeah. But we always laugh. And I think laughter is very healing. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, like, we don't always all get along together. There's times that I'm not talking to this one and that one's not mm -hmm. talking together. But if somebody gets hurt or has a medical issue of any kind, mm -hmm. we just pull together. Mm -hmm. That's an, another thing I like about our family. Mm -hmm. The last thing that I can think of anyway is that we seem to accept everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care. Personally, I don't care what somebody's uh, sexual orientation is or, or their ethnic background. Like That doesn't matter at all as mm -hmm. far as I think. I just think if you're a good person, mm -hmm. you're a good person. It Period. is what it is. It is what it is. I don't understand prejudice. No. We don't care. No, we don't care. But I just think, you know, we have somebody who's part Syrian, uh, part um, Jamaican. Mm -hmm. um, my son, you know, I think a lot of people know this now. Your cousin Andrew is married to a Chinese young woman. It's amazing. I love that about us, you mm -hmm. know. And um, we have people with different uh, sexual orientations in the family. And again, it, has, it doesn't change who they are. Mm -hmm doesn't change my relationship with no. them, right? To each their own. To each, exactly. Mm. That's what I believe. That's what Melody believes. And <laughs> I think most of our family, um, as far as I know, mm -hmm. thinks it the same way. And that's really important. I would just like to say that to everybody. Like, stop judging people. Mm. Like, who are you to judge somebody else? Mm. You know, right? Not everybody's perfect. <laughs> no. And who, gosh, you know what? I would not want to be perfect. Mm. Well, maybe I would. I just would, to see what it's like. No, I would just like to have lots of money. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to have lots of money so I could travel more. Yeah. I love to travel. Visit the world. Yes. From one end of the country to the other, first of all, and then one or go around the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That would be so exciting. Yeah. If COVID didn't happen, I would be like still maybe working for Canada and would have traveled the world by now. But yeah, it would be good. Yeah. Anyway, so we just wanted to share my experiences with uh, my niece, Melody, and um, how we have fun together. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and just mm -hmm. show you that nepotism works for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. you know the deal. You want to be on my show? Yes. You know what to do. Send Come and me. visit. <laughs> That's the thing. So come and visit or send me a message. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I can, we can still do Zoom. We can do in person. Um, there's, uh, there's different options. Mm -hmm. I, oh, and I can go in on location now that I have this uh, beautiful setup with my um, yes. tripod for my, for my tablet. Mm -hmm. And my fabulous remote <laughs> control for the tablet. That is my biggest toy. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, getting to know a little bit more about my uh, niece here, my wonderful niece, Melody. She's such a <laughs> wonderful person. Well, thank you. And um, yeah, hope you keep watching the show. Reach out. <laughs> Until then, everyone. Peace out. Bye. Now if I can see, figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> Wrong button. A sense of community Till the wax a place to be A sense of community When you're free Rolling through the mountains Rolling through the valley Rolling through paradise with me 
It's multicultural. You're sure to see it all. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park. Go dancing after dark. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see.